Hi guys, I wanted to do another quick drawing lesson for you today. And today I'll be doing a small base. So all you need is a pencil, any kind of paper, and if you have your own small base, that's great, but otherwise you can just follow along with me. I have the base tilted so that you can see what I'm seeing and sketch what I'm sketching if you like. So to start, I always take a minute just to think through the shape of the vase and just kind of make some mental notes about how long the top is and how wide the sort of shoulders are, if you will, and just generally think through the general shape of the vase and get to know it a little bit. And then to get started, I always use really, really gentle marks and just try to get a sense for the shape. So this one has kind of a long little neck here and then kind of slopes down. Kind of comes around toward the bottom here. And the reason I use really, really soft pencil marks at first is because this is the phase where you're really just kind of starting to understand the shapes. And you don't really want to be too committed to any pencil marks just yet. So once I have a shape that I think is close enough, I want to start darkening the lines that I've already made. And this is a good time to kind of correct some of the lines that you've already made that you're not sure you like. So I just want to kind of go around the outside of this shape, still taking note of what I'm seeing and making adjustments if I want to. And while you're doing this, you will be noticing the darks, the lights, and some of the details that you'll want to add later. So I am, I'm definitely seeing the dark side is over here and the light side's over here. So I want to start shading the surface of the vase wherever I'm seeing that dark. And I'm definitely seeing the shadow kind of curve around the neck of the vase and disappear around the back into this light area. And then the shadow kind of wraps around the side of the vase as well and kind of comes up. And I'm seeing this pretty highlight sort of wrapping around this top part. So I'm not going to shade all of that in. Um, just a little bit around the side. And I may even lighten up this line a little bit to add more drama to the light side. I like to go in and add a little bit of shadow where the object would meet the tabletop because that always makes it feel more dimensional. And then for this one, I'm just going to add a few little kind of shadows to sort of make note of that pretty decorative pattern I'm seeing as well. And I'm mostly just going to keep that detail in the shadow and just a little kind of note of it in the light side as well, but not all the way around. And once I have a shape I'm happy with, I can go back in here with watercolor. I can um, trace the whole thing in a felt tip marker. From here, you can really go anywhere. You can add more shading with your pencil, um, but this is just a really fun kind of jumping off point um, just to get you started. 